Eight now to the latest developments in that massive leak of classified documents. A member of the Massachusetts Air National Guard is expected in court today after he was arrested in connection to the leak. Federal agents had been scrambling to get to the bottom of the issue for days. Those documents were online for months, by the way. Here's ABC's M. Wynn. This morning, a 21-year-old IT specialist expected to make his first court appearance today in Boston in connection with the leak of highly classified Pentagon documents. Jack Teixeira facing charges under the Espionage Act. FBI agents in tactical gear converged on his Massachusetts home yesterday. News helicopters first spotted him reading on the back deck. He then emerged with his hands on his head. It feels like a movie. It feels like a movie. Authorities say Teixeira is a member of the Massachusetts Air National Guard based at Otis Air Force Base working in the intelligence wing. Yeah, I went to high school with him. Good kid, not really a whole lot of, I would never have kind of taken him, somebody like that. Federal agents have been looking into the leak of dozens of apparently classified military documents that exposed top secret intelligence about the Ukraine war, U.S. spying on allies and other top national security issues. We do have stringent guidelines in place. This was a deliberate criminal act, a violation of those guidelines. Hours before Teixeira's arrest, a report in the Washington Post described the alleged leaker as someone posting documents to impress young men in a chat room on the social media platform Discord. The Post interviewed a teen who says he was a member of that chat room. It felt like I was on top of Mount Everest. It felt like I was above everyone else to some degree and that, um, I would, I would be able to brag to some people that I knew stuff that they didn't. The New York Attorney General's office last year announced it was investigating discord, which is popular among teens, in connection with a racist mass shooting at a Buffalo supermarket. Investigators say the teen gunman detailed his plans weeks earlier on discord. Experts say Discord's lack of content moderation allows conspiracy theories to spread. Discord has said it is cooperating in both the Buffalo and the documents leak investigation. In Washington